Hello and welcome to this week's Warriors HQ following the fantastic 12-6 win over Leinster here at Scotston on Friday night. Coming up on this week's show, we've got highlights of our 12-6 win over Leinster with reaction from Nick Gregg and Grayson Hart. We speak to new signing Justice Sears Daru and we talk to Scotland under-20 captain Scott Cummings about his new three-year contract. Once I got on the field and just uh, got a touch of the ball and, and my first tackle was a, a low chop and then I was I was away away laughing. Like yeah, you seem like, you seem to really enjoy it, especially that massive hit in the first half. Yeah, well that's what we that's emphasis this week was just tackle and putting pressure on and coming out with aggression and and really giving it to them. So when I got out there, I just I, I, the boys were supporting me the whole time, sort of thing. So I just made the decision and it was it was the right one for me. So it was good. how did you enjoy your first experience here at Scots? It was awesome. The crowd are amazing, eh? When you when you're standing on the field and you just hear the the Glasgow chant and that it's um it's like a, a rush to the to the system sort of thing, and it really pushes you to uh, make that extra effort. It was an awesome win, and um, it was one that sort of was real character showed by us guys out there, and um, just the feeling to get the result at the end. It was an awesome feeling, and um, especially when we, we had a few injuries, I think we had four guys go off in the first half, um, and, and for guys to come on and, and do well and um, get the result. Um, you know, sometimes it can go the other way when you get injuries like that, but I think it almost lifted us to get guys like, um, we had guys like Nick Squiggler Grigg come on, and uh, it, you know, personally for me, it, it, I felt a lift when uh, I was excited for him to get his opportunities. He's waited patiently, so yeah, no, it was, it was a, such a good feeling to get the win. And uh, you were talking about like lots of injuries on Friday night, and because of those injuries, you had to play as a winger, obviously known as a scrum half. What was that like for you? Uh, it was actually a good experience to sort of play the game from another position and see another perspective of the game, and it was not as tiring as scrum half, so I felt a bit fresher in the second half. Um, but I was just happy to be on the field when the final also went and we got the victory. Earlier today, we announced the signing of Canadian international prop Justice Sears Daru, and he spoke exclusively to Warriors HQ after landing in Glasgow. So, Justice, welcome to Glasgow Warriors in Scotland. How have you found your first day here? I think you've been a good day. It's a lot to learn, but the guys have been really nice and stuff, and a lot of good systems, so I'm excited to be here. And is it good to meet all your uh, new teammates today here at Scotland? Yeah, they're a bunch of great guys, and they're very nice to meet today, so I'm, I'm excited to be here. Can you tell us what kind of player that you, you are, Justice? I think I'm like a mobile player, a mobile prop, a good uh, contact session and a uh, scrum. 
Can you tell us a little bit about your development in terms of where you've played uh, in Canada and where you've kind of come from? Well, I grew up playing in Oakville, Ontario for the Oakville Crusaders and then I went to play Ontario Blues and then I played Canada at age grade, under 17, under 19 and I went to a boarding school out in BC called Freshonagan Lake and I played out there, learned a lot out there and then came out to England and Leicester and stuff and then moved my way up and luckily played for Canada and stuff and I keep, I keep playing. Of course, you played against the Warriors in that pre-season fixture over in Halifax, uh, so a bit strange now coming yeah. to play for the Warriors? Yeah, it's a bit strange. I recognize a couple of faces though, which is good, so excited to be here and it's a good game for last time, right? So I'm happy to play on this side now and hopefully, hopefully things go well. Did you remember that? Was that part of the reason why you wanted to come here? Do you remember a lot from that day? Yeah, I remember a lot. It was a good game. and I've talked to a couple of guys who used to play here, DTH and Connor Brady and Taylor Paris and stuff, and they had good things to say about here. So they told me to enjoy my time and do the best that I can. Here is some of the action and reaction from week three of the Scottish Power Warriors Rugby Championship, which was held here at Scotston. You don't have to wear your best fake smile, don't have to stand there and burn inside. So I'm here, I run the School of Rugby at St Thomas Aquinas. We have a school that was not a rugby school at all, however, situated two minutes from Scotston. Now we boast over 70 odd rugby players across first and second year. And today is the first time we've had a girls team out and they've exceeded all expectations winning their first ever game against Jordan Hill. I don't know the words to say how great this is. I mean, it's like... Rugby is the first thing I'd usually pick over any other sports. When I saw it, I know I wanted to play it. The hours that we worked at Glasgow Warriors um, was slightly kinder than the hours that we have to I have to work now. But it's great. It's good fun. I love working with kids. Um, I'm st still involved in sort of good level rugby coaching at Glasgow Hawks. I stay in touch with a lot of the players. We have quite a few of your young academy players, and we get released pros. So it's great to keep that sort of affinity with the Warriors. Any words you could use to sum up the school of rugby and the opportunities we get to come down to tournaments like this? Mm, spectacular. This morning we announced that three BT Sports Scottish and Rugby Academy Stage 3 players have signed professional contracts for next season. Nick Gregg has signed a one-year deal, James Malcolm has signed for two years and Scott Cummings has signed a three-year contract and we spoke exclusively to the Scotland under-20 captain. I was thrilled to find out that Glasgow were wanting to sign me for the next following years and to be signed for three years is ex you know, especially good because it means I get to commit my future to the club and I can play here for many years to come hopefully. Was that something that you were expecting to sign on for so long? Um, not particularly, I just wanted to, you know, I, I only like to look at the short term, I was thinking about next year, what I could do next year, but to be asked the same for three years is, you know, a big honour and I can't wait for it to start. When the season kicked off back in September, what were your goals? Didn't you think you've sort of exceeded them? Yeah, I mean, my goals at the time of September was just sort of to get as much rugby as I could. And then when I got a fair few caps for Glasgow at the start of the season, I was extremely happy with that. I wasn't expecting that at the start of the season. And then when I was asked to captain the 20 squad, I was you know, really honoured to do that as well. So I've been really happy with what's happened this season and it's been a great season for me. That's all for this week's show. We'll be back next Wednesday at 5pm on Glasgow Warriors TV with the best of the action from Friday night's sold-out match against Ulster here at Scotland.